for the longest time, in terms of favorite Disney movies, I guess Lion King was my favorite Disney movie? If you want to get technical whenever Disney owned Power Rangers, I guess you could say the first Mighty Morphin movie was my favorite, but just pure Disney, yeah, I guess you could say it was The Lion King. But after a while, that title has, of my favorite Disney movie has moved to the subject of this review, Zootopia. When the movie was being advertised, I did not know what to really think, to be perfectly honest. It just looked really weird. A buddy cop style film starring a rabbit and a fox? Well, I didn't really know what to think of it until it came out. And my thoughts are what we're here to find out. This is my review of Zootopia. This world is inhabited by animals, mainly mammals, and we get background on our new world. This world used to work on the basic form of predators hunt and kill prey, and prey tried to survive. Until they basically evolved, I guess? In terms of a newly found trust and freedom between the animals, they build Zootopia! This city has different sectors that are fit for the needs of the different species who live in the city. For the police, they have to be able to brave the challenges that they can encounter. If they can't, the predators potentially die. Why is this important? Well, our main character, Judy Hobbs, has a dream to be a cop in Zootopia. An asshole bully named Gideon tells Judy that the only things that rabbits can be are carrot farmers. This doesn't stray Judy from her dream, as we cut to her as an adult in the police academy. Welcome, recruits. Though we've had to lower our standards thanks to a shortage of actual mutants, the dangers you'll face are no less real. You'll be defending a world that hates and fears you. What? Hate and fear us? Because we're mutants? No, because you were in the Police Academy movies. What the hell is wrong with this chair? And it seems we're missing one recruit. Mahoney! During the course of a montage, we see what Judy will have to potentially deal with in Zootopia. She's unable to keep up with the others at first, but with enough dedication and training, she was able to pull ahead and push past the others. She even becomes the class valedictorian, and she also meets the mayor of Zootopia, and is assigned to the precinct in the heart of Zootopia. And on her first day, she learns of multiple mammals that are missing. And the main key is that all of these missing mammals are predators. Now her first assignment on her first day is a uh, parking duty. Yeah, she basically becomes a meter maid. Now this sucks, but during her shift, she sees a fox acting, well, pretty suspiciously as he enters an ice cream parlor. She follows and for a second, things seem like they're going to hit the fan. Though, this is just a moment of a father buying ice cream for his kid. The elephants are asshole, mainly because of, well, this clip. Yeah, so fuck those guys. But anyways, Judy points out some major health code violations, and basically threatens to get the ice cream parlor shut down, mainly due to the incy teensy little fact that the elephants are using their trunks to scoop ice cream, but without using special gloves. It Excuse me for a second. Who wants chowder? Uh, sorry about that. That was just oh, so disgusting. But after a while, she sees a fox again. And so I can actually state his name. At the ice cream parlor, his name was revealed as Nick. But his son, in massive quotes, isn't really his son, but an accomplice. Nick and the other fox named Finnick, because I don't think his name is actually revealed in the movie itself, 
Well, these two are basically hustlers. If you don't know what a hustler is, just refer to Risky from Everybody Hates Chris. She calls Nick out on everything, but he's kind of untouchable, but not really. He's untouchable mainly because, well, he's done his homework and made sure he got everything he needed to, well, avoid the police. But again, not really. More on that later. Because, well, Judy gets stuck on part uh, parking duty again, but makes a promise to an otter. This promise is to find the otter's missing husband, but this kind of pisses off her uh, boss, Chief Bogo, because of insubordination. Bogo wants her badge, but when he runs into the mayor's assistant, Bellwether, he gives Judy a chance because Bellwether is going to tell the mayor about the whole entire Judy on the case scene. And Wall gives Judy the case file. But the thing about that is... That's it? Yikes. That is the smallest case file I've ever seen. Leads, none. Witnesses, none. And you're not in the computer system yet, so resources, none. <laughs> oh, I hope you didn't stake your career on cracking this one. Yeah, Judy has no leads at all. Until she sees Nick in the last known location image. She tracks him down and basically blackmails him into working with her because, well, Nick has been dodging a lot of uh, times where he should have paid taxes. And that is highly illegal. Now, it's up to both Nick and Judy to solve the case, and all in all, I really do love the story, is save for one giant problem, but I do want to start with something that I really do love first, and, well, just... Roll clip! Life isn't some cartoon musical where you sing a little song and your insipid dreams magically come true. This, this scene in particular is something every kid should see. This scene, literally, specifically. If you don't put in the effort, you'll not get anywhere in life. Life will never just hand you things. You have to work for the things you actually want. This is a big reason why I hate the whole participation trophies. Now, my dad basically forced me into football, and I got one trophy in it. Now, I really hate this trophy. Why? It's a participation trophy, and I hate it because the team I was on, we never earned it at all. In fact, we lost every single game. But anyways, yeah, again, that is a great message that kids should hear is that you have to work for the things in life. Nothing will be handed to you. But now, let's get to the thing that I hate. Uh, but it's big spoilers, mainly because it's at the end of the movie. So, skip to here to avoid spoilers. Okay, you guys may have skipped or not, but I don't care. Let's just get on to the thing that I can't stand. Alright, Bellwether is the one who basically is behind everything. The reason why the missing mammals are missing is because, well, her uh, associates shot them with a special chemical made from the flower dubbed the Night Hallower. What this does is make basically makes any animal who gets hit with the uh, special chemical to basically go batshit insane and go a little more savage. And, well, <laughs> I want to say this about the twist with Bellwether. It makes sense. Completely makes sense. But it comes completely out of left field. Again, makes sense, but there's no clues for anyone to figure out for themselves. The surprise villain thing never made sense to me. Just imagine in Mighty Morph for Power Rangers if Lord Zed was really Zordon disguised, or if Barry and Resident Evil was the creator of the progenitor virus, or Mario being the true villain of the Mushroom Kingdom, regardless of what game theory would tell you. Oh hell! Kengo and Kamarider Forze being the true person who is Sagittarius! There is no rhyme. There is no reason for this plot twist. Because you're actively shitting in the face of the story and god Damn, my hand hurts. Why did I do that? Oh. Ugh. God, seriously, my hand. Now, I really do love the duo of Nick and Judy. These two work off each other very well, and, well, this duo is just perfect, but I'm not really sure how they work specifically. I think it's mainly due to the fact that they help each other grow more as a character. Now, side characters, there's really only one of them I actually like, and that is Clawhauser. 
and he's just great. I don't know why I love him so much. He's just yeah. Everyone else, however, I can't really say that I like them. The one I really did not like is Bogo. He's just an asshole. He may have said something that I completely agree with, but other than that, I can't really stand him at all. He tends to get on my nerves from time to time, though he does light up at the end of the movie, but that doesn't change the fact that he did get on my nerves. Oh boy. I love the animation for this movie. There's a lot of detail that goes into every single character model. Every background character is actually doing something unique. There really isn't any repeated animation. This shows off the new animation software that Disney made for this movie. The animators also did a lot of research into all well, different animals. The biggest example about this is Judy's ear. Because in real life, a rabbit's, when a rabbit hears something, their ears move first. And that's literally what G Judy's ears does. Literally just that. The exact same thing and that detail is awesome. Voice acting is awesome as well with every single voice actor doing a fantastic job. The song Try Everything is well the big budget song of this and well it's great though I don't think I'll go back to it again and again. But mixed together in the scene where Judy is riding the train to Zootopia makes the song fantastic. So now, taking the count of story, characters, animation, and sound, Disney Zootopia gets a 10 out of 10. Now, that may have been obvious, especially when I said this is my favorite Disney movie, but this is a great Disney movie in spite of my personal complaints of this movie. I do highly recommend this movie to anyone, though again, the villain comes completely out of nowhere and we should have been given clues onto who that person is. At this point in time, Zootopia is available for legal streaming on Netflix. For alternate recommendations, I present to you, Power Rangers SBD. And Power Rangers SBD, humans and aliens live together in harmony, and a special police force is formed called Space Patrol Delta. We follow the underdogs known as the Beast Squad, proving themselves as they protect the city, and try to bring it in the intergalactical criminal known as General Grum. If you like Zootopia, you'll like Speedy.